Here, I have a question for you. This is something that comes up a lot. I'm interested in your answer. So, so right now, you know, with with house prices, you know, they're they're going up. There's a 15% increase since last year here locally. I get asked this by agents and and by buyers a lot. You know, is there is there going to be a crash like 2008? W what are your thoughts on it? What do you see in the market? I mean, I think 2008 was a lot different. I think there was a lot more a lot more greed I guess driven behind that I think there's a lot more made up numbers mm -hmm. made up people are proving anybody I, I think that crash that kind of crash was just a victim of of honestly just people's greed approving mm -hmm. people that had no right getting a house um, people that were making up documents no doc loans all this different mm -hmm. stuff I think right now you still have to have good credit to buy a house like right. and the values are higher but it's just because the inventory is lower and even when inventory stables out and it's not a 15% increase. Yeah. I still think real estate's going to appreciate it 3% a year. Right now, in America, across the nation, the, the paper that's being written, the loans that are being written are the highest rated loans ever. Yeah. And this is why. Number one, through the pandemic, it, for you to be able to get your offer accepted to purchase a house, you had to put more money down. You had to be the highest eligible buyer. It got so competitive, it basically brought the cream buyers, as far as credit, yeah. to, to, the, to the forefront. And everything you said about 2008 is correct. In 2008, there were, were different types of loans, right? There were stated income, there were stated assets, stated credit score, stated person, right? Yeah. To be able to buy a house, right? None of that, none of that exists anymore. So it's the highest amount of money on average put down. Yeah. And we're, we're, a, we're on average, I believe it's somewhere between 15 and 10% down on average yeah. On, on, on uh, purchases. And the average home in America is close to 50% equity, right? So take a rewind back to 2008, bad loans, everyone yeah. was maxed out as far as value goes. There, people were putting no money down. Yeah. People were taking, uh, were borrowing 125% to, uh, to, their, to their home, meaning if your house was worth 200,000, you could borrow 250,000 yeah. on it. Right, and, and there were variable even, rates. How and was that even real? I just don't even understand how that how, right. the, how anybody was doing that and thinking it was a good idea. Besides people getting paid on it, but my gosh, like I think I, you you nailed, nailed it. Agreed. Part of yeah. It. I mean, yeah. I mean, the the movie. I mean, as crazy as it is, the big Sh big short explains it perfectly yeah. on on how they were the the you know the loans were bundled up and they were made to made they were they were mixed in with a paper like your Fannie Mae, your twenty percent down, your eight hundred credit score, all these, and they would then they would. They started by just putting a couple of the, the, the lower credit score, more aggressive loans in there, and then they just started rating everything the same. And um, those had variable rates, they had no equity. So there was a lot that went to that. Yeah. Bottom line is this, we're not 2008. No. And, and if anything, and you can, I'm sure, speak to this, I get calls all the time on out-of-state investors coming to, you know, here locally in, in Cincinnati, trying to invest in uh, in this area because Cincinnati is widely undervalued historically yeah. compared to the rest of the nation. And